Over the years, we have talked a ton about mountain bike tires, and a lot of that has been about Maxxis. That's because, to my estimation, Maxxis is probably 80% of the North American mountain bike tire market, um, just the huge dominant player. In this video, we're going to entirely exclude Maxxis and talk about the nine other brands that make amazing mountain bike tires and their top models. We recently ran a poll and asked you guys what brands you wanted to hear about, and as a time of recording, we have just over 8,500 votes and 400 120 comments and a lot of people really excited and hot on this topic right now because there's a lot of different tire options tire options tire options The first brand I want to talk about is Terravel. It is a boutique mountain bike tire brand that also makes really good gravel tires as well. Um, their most popular mountain bike tire, which is very nice and grippy, is the Kessel. Um, big, meaty, high traction tire. Next up, the A-Line. Get it? E-H, line, A-Line, Canada, A, you know. Hey, how's it going? I'm Bob McKenzie, it's my brother, Doug. How's it going, A? This is like more of a uh, fast rolling trail bike tire, would be really good on like a down country style bike, front and rear. Um, or you could pair it in the rear with a Kessel in the front. And then the Honcho. The Honcho is probably a really good enduro rear tire, in my opinion. This is like a really good enduro combo right here. Um, Kessel Honcho, Kessel in the front, of course. Um, or if you want to go a little bit lighter, you could do Kessel and A-Line. Um, and if you want to go really light, you could just do two A-Lines. But Terravel is another good, notable, small boutique tire brand that definitely needs to be mentioned in this video. Next up, Michelin. Everybody knows that brand. Um, it's, you know, the Michelin man. The guy's famous. Look at him. They've been making mountain bike tires for a long time and airplane tires and car tires and every other thing in the world. And yeah, it's a big, long time tire brand. But uh, I would say maybe in the last four years, they've really sort of gained traction in the uh, mountain bike space and especially because they started sponsoring Sam Hill, right? He's one of the fastest mountain bikers in the world. Downhill racer, enduro racer, the guy's incredible. Um, just super good at sticking to corners and being a good mountain biker. So when you see him ride tires and win on them and go that fast on them, you kind of go, ooh, I want those tires. Um, Michelin tires are have been really hard to get in North America, especially for us. Every time we get them in stock, they sell out, which is why I don't have any here to fondle right now. You're just gonna have to look at images of them. Uh, their most popular tires in the enduro scene is the Wild Enduro and then the DH22 and the Wild AM. So those are the three models from Michelin that you should really be paying attention to for enduro slash trail slash downhill bikes. Next up is Schwalbe. I think Schwalbe is probably one of the larger tire brands outside of North America. Still have a good presence in North America. A while back, we made a Schwalbe tire guide video where we talk about all their various models, but to just talk about their top three, um, Navi Nick, Hans Dampf, Magic Mary. Those are the most popular ones and you can take a look at them right now and basically figure out what they are for. And if you wanna learn more about them, check out our Schwalbe tire guide video. Another tire brand that's really hard for us to keep in stock is Continental. Their popular models are the Trail King, the Mountain King, and the Der Kaiser. I'm not sure if that's how you say that, but I think that's how you say it. Continental makes a huge breadth of tires, most of which are made in Germany, which is pretty cool. I think they have a much bigger presence in the European market than they do in the North American market, but nonetheless, some really good fancy tires. Next up is WTB. They have been making tires for a super long time. We also did a tire guide video for them on all the tires that they make. Uh, they make a ton of really unique gravel bike tires in case you're into that sort of thing. In terms of their most popular trail slash enduro mountain bike tires that we see run through the shop the most frequently, the Judge, big, beefy, strong, grippy tire, the Vigilante or Vigilante, I don't really know how to pronounce a lot of words, that's one of them, and the Trail Boss, which is a sweet tire. They made another rear tire. I can't remember what it was called, but they discontinued it. I don't know why, but they replaced it with a Trail Boss, which is sweet, but it's a little bit too grippy for a rear tire on a really lightweight trail bike. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Next time, that tire, what? The 
The next brand is Vettoria from Italiano with some pepperoni. I hope you don't like my Italian accent. Uh, Vittoria, yeah, Italian bicycle manufacturer. I never really thought Vittoria was so big, and I just pulled them up on Wikipedia to make sure of a few facts about them, and it turns out they've been around since 1953, has more than a thousand employees, and produces five million road and mountain bike tires. Their popular mountain bike tire models for trail slash enduro are the Mazza, Martello, Agaro, and Mota. Um, I have not used any of them, but it's definitely a brand on my radar because they do make some really good looking model tires with good sort of specs, right? Good, uh, pretty much if you look at like the width of a tire and the weight and then the tread pattern, that's kind of what always piques my interest if you're a really tire nerd about it and you look at those things. So yeah, Victoria is kind of on my radar for mountain bike tires to try out, which is a brand I haven't really spent much time with. But clearly they make a lot of tires and it sounds like a lot of them are road bike tires and a lot of them are in Europe and not a ton in the US, but Victoria, pizza, pepperons. Next up is E13. They have been making some really interesting grippy sticky tires and they finally solved the problem of having the tire logos matching the rim logos if you pair them with their wheels, which is a really cool feature. Um, we've made quite a bit of content on E13 tires over the years. And just like any of the content we make, if you hit our website, type it into the search bar, it defaults to a product search, but there's a little tab that says videos, articles, reviews. If you click on that, you can see all the content we've ever made on that topic. Um, we've done a ton on E13 and the different tires that they make. Uh, most popular models, TRS Race, LG1 EN Race and Plus, and SS Tire. The naming conventions of E13 is kind of confusing and takes some explaining and some digging into. So uh, if you're interested in their tires, they do make some good stuff. They definitely lean more towards that sort of, um, I would call it like they're favoring traction over weight and it's more of like a really grippy, sticky tire for that like in aggressive trail and enduro and downhill riding, but definitely a tire brand to take a look at. And last but not least, we could not do this video without including Bantrager and Specialized. Uh, both of those tires are owned by their respective brands. Bantrager is owned by Trek and Specialized is Specialized. Uh, they do make really good tires. Those tires you pretty much only see on their bikes. Like you're only gonna see Bantrager on Treks. You're only gonna see Specialized on Specialized bikes. Yes, you can put them on any bike. It doesn't happen very often. I personally wouldn't do it because I don't know, running like a specialized tire on a non-specialized bike or a bond trigger tire that's not on a Trek. I don't know, not my style, but they do make some really good tires. Um, and you see them a lot, right? If you go to bike stores that sell specialized in Trek, um, all of those bikes come with their own branded tires and they do make some really good stuff. So Bontrager, the G5 and the G4, those are their two popular um, good grippy trail slash enduro tires. Specialized has the Butcher, Purgatory and Fast Track. So take a look at all three of those. Uh, definitely can't forget those. Those guys are making some good tires these days and you definitely see them as OE, like the stock tires that come on their bikes. So. Hopefully this video helped you guys out and we hit every brand that we could think of that wasn't Maxxis. That's notable and makes really good stuff. Uh, let us know down in the comments what tires you are running. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. See you in the next one.